Hello and welcome back to the Science of Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, where we've just met our had our first encounter with uh, aliens uh, here in the Andromeda Galaxy, uh, which has gone to what's probably not so well, uh, including Dusty Kirkland ending up dead and uh, a bunch of them ending up dead. And we're going to continue our exploration. Uh, I, I do like that Ryder is. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years. It's spooky when you put it that way. Yeah, I like that Ryder is kind of aware that, you know, we are the outsiders and the, the alien invaders here. Uh, OP keeps that awareness. We don't know what the material is, yet somehow we can determine it's three to four hundred years old. Uh, interesting to know how we do that. Uh, and again, that's almost certainly analysis and not data. Right? Data is how we see this amount of weathering or structural degradation. And analysis is that means it's three to four hundred years old. Unknown oh, technology function unknown. Fair enough. Going up over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. So there's the career. There's the first over there. Okay. I wish I didn't. The hell's that? Not friendly? There, watch out! What is this thing? I think it wants it! Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was. How did it cloak like that? I know composition. Well, known, but it is organic. Um, I wonder if they used to keep the strict uh, chemical sense of the word. Right? In chemistry, organic means primarily composed of carbon atoms. Uh, that's related to being alive, but not the same thing. Right? So, um, for example, bone, although uh, many living creatures on Earth contain bone, is not an organic material. Chemical sense of the word, because bones. Records ahead. So yeah, 
uh, narratively speaking, uh, themes you know, encountering the unknown, being it's the other an half outsider. Of what a mess! I can't believe he survived it. We're not off planet yet. Shit! Move on our perimeter. It's an ambush. Oh hell! They got the jump on us. Oh hell! Go away, go away, go away. Careful, they got one of those animals. Watch for cloaking! Watch for them, they force this! Yeah, yeah, Liam. Come on, just don't worry. Just don't shit. Trying to surround us! Keep an eye on your six o'clock! And our two o'clock! And our eight! Ah, <laughs> uh, these people give me such humor. Now who's dead, asshole? Come on, just take care of that. Hey, we got a wall. <laughs> oh, you're pretty good at this, Ryder. I fought off the occasional raider or two in my day. I used to guard a Mass Effect relay. Wish we had one for the Ox. Maybe we should see if there's anything else useful here. Uh, yeah, just two points. Uh, taken that way, but uh, I noticed that they call this shuttle beta. Uh, of course, you know. Flight no recorder here. Type of numbering scheme, but. Um, Okay, so Greek. We've experienced a catastrophic lightning hit. Liam and Lionel are gone. What's your location? Damn. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. Mayday, Mayday, ship in distress. Sir, our engine staff, prepare for an emergency landing. Hey, maybe they made it. There's hope. But do you know that flight recorders are still a thing? Um, of course, you use them in aviation a lot, basically, to learn from things that go wrong and to make sure they don't go wrong again. Uh, famous black boxes, they're all large aircraft carry flight data, flight recorders, and uh, they carry two. There's the flight data recorder, which records all kinds of data, especially on newer aircraft. You know, Hundreds or even thousands of parameters are, are locked into usually. As data storage has become faster and cheaper. Um, and we have the cockpit voice recorder, which records sounds made in the cockpits. Um, and they're used in case of accidents or incidents to help people investigating after the fact to figure out what went wrong. That way, we are able to learn from accidents. Build structure on that hill. This place is taking a beating from the storms, along with everything else on this planet. Through that, it should make aviation a lot safer. That doesn't look like a home at all. It takes time to kind of do some prop to uh, archaeology rather than first figuring out how to get help and get take off planets or worrying about where his father is or his other team members. But hey, it's a computer game. I don't doubt if. Uh, I would write shoes. I like, figure out these ruins priority. Yeah, I'd probably. Think. No one's living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. 
Must be a way to get some lights on. Pretty cool. Uh, atmospheric signal going on the earth just now. Fortress. Fuel to be purposing, eh? Salt rifle, or, uh... That's, um, we're not gonna make much sense of things. Field repurposing. Car gun gear, indeed. Duck to succeed. Makes sense. So you can recover and repurpose resources, which is useful. Liquid coolant allows weapon heat sinks to be reused. Also solid coolant would allow that. You have to do is kind of let it cool down again. Interesting that we uh, have finding all these mods here, weapon mods that will fit on our weapons, which were designed uh, you know, two and a half million light years and six hundred years ago. I'm right about now. Should be. And indeed, what Liam said. That's not working. Wonder what's inside. Alien ruins, alien 
building part. Just get that to me, look at great. Very good. Some kind of research lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. Universal semiconductor. Kenshin. Not exactly poetry, is it? Well, maybe it is, Ryder. You don't know. Fragment scan, it's also kind of like just where it's put together. Weird, you hear that? Looks like they were trying to tunnel in. Don't think it turned out so well. Uh, what? What is it? Yes? Look at us, look at this. Then, so now killer robots too? <laughs> the guests back home would love this place. So bad, you. It's fried. Could be a console of some sort. For that door. Maybe it's closed for a reason. So yes, we left. His wounds look like they're from an energy blast. Might have tangled with our robot friend there. Just before. What were they doing? I guess we left just before the whole uh, Shepard Westwing story. Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries old. What should we get, Sam? I think it's older than this lab and the equipment. So maybe these aliens found it deeper in, like an artifact. I'm, I'm not sure what leads to the conclusion that this was some kind of lab, because looking at the toys, she's weird devices strewn around. Some serious energy on the other side of that door. These guys were poking around where they shouldn't have. That's Specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty. Weather's still crappy. Yeah, archaeologists or traders. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Oh, damn! <laughs> they got a lighting rod up and running! Are these things stalking us? Starting to Pretty feel sure. like it! This is not how I go out! I don't think they're listening! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away. There! Last one's down. Let's not wait around for more. things that seem so simple but really aren't. Um, it's interesting that we have a working compass in the coordinate system, right? It's one of these things you don't really think about in daily life. Down the right. But it's not that trouble actually to, to set up a, a working coordinate system. And I think we have a magnetic field to help us orient, but no reason to shoot that be a working one on this planet. Yeah, radio static. But like a pattern. So how does your navigational system orient itself? What you take as a reference point? You know, you can 
go a direction north, but why are you calling that direction? How can you recognize that direction? Uh, I guess you need to go the other way around to find Greer. That static's getting louder. We found him will be a good place to end the episode. Once we're a bit long with I think I want to try and make some sort of encounter. Lightning rod. Could explain why the building's damaged. Storms hammered the place. It's what it looks like to defend against lightning. Charge the enemy surface. Check around for supplies. Then head back. We'll be in touch. Liam and I need to go help Cora. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock. Well, it's gonna be home.
Um, alright, I think that's a good point to end this episode. Next episode we'll head over to uh, Korra and go help her. Uh, that's all then. Um, I'll say goodbye and see you next time. So long.